Hey everybody, George Tucker here for Aviation.tv at Infocom 2016 here in Las Vegas, and we are in the Black Magic Design booth. I'm joined by Bob Cornelia. How are you, sir? I'm well, thank you. Uh, good show, last day. Yeah. All right, well, it's an expansive booth, but we've decided to focus on three particular products. The first one that we caught our eye is the uh, Video Assist 4K. Right. Yeah. Tell me about this. It's a nifty little box that lets you record and has some really great features to it. Yeah, so what we've done is it's, a, it's a, the older brother of our original video assist that was a 5-inch screen. Right. It is a 7-inch screen, has SDI in and out, full-size uh, connectors for SDI. Right, the old one had smaller ones, Smaller right? ones, yeah. right. You get the HDMI in and out as well as two mini XLR connections for audio. It has a speaker in the front, as I said, seven inch screen, and it has um, a histogram and audio meters, and you can record right. ProRes and DNX HD. It's got two SD card slots on the side, so it's a really portable, great solution. Take uh, output out of a DSLR camera or any kind of camera and record uh, in ProRes or DNX HD. Right, very nice. I mean, the onboard diagnostics and all that was very nice to have right there at the touch of your hand. And it's, it's about the size of, uh, well, about the size of your badge, right? I mean, it's yeah. not too big. It's, it's very nice and handy. Right. You slide it in a kit and you go. Exactly. Good size screen, but not too big, so it's not unmanageable. Right. So we've recorded it, and we now, you also have the uh, Duplicator 4K. Correct. This is a nifty little box, right? One RU? Yeah, uh, it's a one RU. Right. So what we do there is uh, you basically take a live video input up to Ultra HD, right. and we have an H. H.265 compression, compression algorithm inside, so we were able to take Ultra HD, put it on something reasonably sized, so when you record it on the 25 SD cards, when you're finished, you can actually sell or give away the content, and that way it'll play in a you know, Windows 10 computer or on the back of the H Ultra HD TV. Right, it's 25 cards, which is amazing. Does it need to be formatted in any special way? So there's actually a format uh, on, on board. There's a format for expat, so it's a wide... Uh, widely accepted uh, format and you just format them all and then uh, you hit record now you can actually cascade them so that they you can control you know up to 100 or more of them so that if you wanted to Times do 2500 or yeah. whatever however many you wanted to do at one time you could just uh, do that and in this way you can also all the lights will go red when they're recording they're green when they're ready to go and if there's an odd color that means something's wrong with that disc so you would know right away whether you have a problem which and it has really no good. effect on the other discs obviously exactly. it just isolates it from in, that. And, and you said up to about 100 units well, actually, you get unlimited units because yeah. they just keep cascading. Keep but cascading, I was just no. thinking, I don't know how many you would, you know, 25 times 100. <laughs> that seems like a lot, but you, but yeah, you could do as right, many as you want. Right, you'd be surprised though, right? right no, yeah. I think that's a lot, but then suddenly has a need. And how do they interconnect? What's the connection between them? Uh, basically, it's just uh, SDI, and then okay. there's um, there's a nine-pin remote so that you can also put on there, so you can remote them all. Right, and also the, the last bit there was the MultiView 4. Yeah. This so the, is the little brother to the 16 you have, correct, right? Correct, yes. right. So the MultiView 16 uh, was giving us all kinds of different views, but the MultiView 4 is basically for a quad split. Right. But what we do is we take all the SDI ins and we up them so that we can put four quadrants of, old, of HD in an Ultra HD uh, 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 display. So if you have a standard F, no problem, we'll up it. If it's uh, Ultra HD, then we'll make it uh, HD in each quadrant. So now you have an Ultra HD set, but you have four full HD uh, quadrants, so you really get good quality in, in, a, in a nice in one of the new sets. And again, in a very compact form factor. Yeah, it's in our Terranex Mini uh, design box that we introduced last year with some other product. It's the same size, and you can get the active uh, screen that we have for those. It's $85 option to it. But for $4.95, we get a quad split, and uh, it's a nice little form factor, and uh, it's uh, it's actually done very well so far. We all, all these products I just announced have been shipping in the last few weeks, and we're already getting some. Yeah, so all shipping. That's very yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you for your time. My pleasure. All right, this has been from the Black Magic Design booth at Infocom 2016 for Aviation.tv.